Hans de Foucault style lock hairspray versus Weller Silver Cream Classic Maximum Hold hairspray. This is Brand Battle. Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to Brand Battle, the series that puts two competing products head to head in the ultimate showdown. Now, this is the battle of the hairsprays because We've talked a lot about hair products, but I wanted to think about that finishing process. You know, which hairspray is going to hold it all day. Now, in this one, we have got 22 points up for grabs. Not 20, but 22. And as we know, not all categories are equal, so the points will reflect this. Now, the products I've got are Hans de Foucault's Style Lock Hairspray. This product, they say, has been three years in the making. They say it has an extreme hold, the fine mist goes on dry, and locks in any hairstyle imaginable. It's the ultimate stay put spray. Now, this one is a premium product. Product. It's roughly about $23 or £24 versus this budget product, which is Weller Silver Cream Classic Maximum Hold. You guys know I've spoken about this one a lot. This says it gives reliable, long lasting maximum hold and keeps your style flexible. So it's going to be interesting to see is it worth paying slightly more for something which might give a stronger hold. Now, into ingredients. Looking into Hans Foucault's, you, you do have alcohol on the top there. You've then got various other compounds and things. I'm just like, what is that? They do have a few things in here which say certified organic by organic certifiers. I'm a bit like a hairspray. It's uh, mm, what's organic about hairspray uh, versus the Weller Silver Green Classic one, which, as we expect, you know, alcohol again on the top. You've got butane, propane, isobutane, loads of various things. So really, I mean, ingredients. You're not going to get the best from a hairspray anyway. But just because it's got a few certified, am I being uh, like dragged into this, this sort of marketing thing? Uh, I'm going to give the points for ingredients to. Hans de Foucault. Now into packaging. The Hans de Foucault one is in this like spray paint can. Um, also with this sort of spray paint style Hans de Foucault on this side. Um, I kind of like this. It feels really young. It's different from any other hairsprays. It's also chunkier. Versus as well as the classic one, which doesn't blow my mind, but it's just, it's just a green tub with some pink on it. Um, so the points for packaging, point for packaging is going to go to Hans de Foucault. Now into smell, we should not be smelling hairsprays, guys, because they are solvents, but when you've got them in your hair, they do have some smells. Um, the Weller Silver Green Classic one has got a slight sort of floral scent, but it still smells like solvent, versus the Hans de Foucault one, which smells more like solvent. So the point for smell of a hairspray goes to Weller Silver Green Classic. Now, when we're going into application here, I've made sure that I've used the same pre-styler, the same styling product before using these. The Hans de Foucault nozzle and application is so direct, you can really feel the power from this. It certainly shoots out. One issue with that is sometimes you feel like you might saturate just what, well, sometimes I have done it, that you'll saturate one area too much. You really have to move it quite quickly versus the Weller product, which gives us sort of lighter mist and is better for all over coverage. So the points for application go to Weller Silver Cream Classic. Now in terms of drying, the Hans Fuqua one says that it goes on dry and it really does. As soon as you've used it, it dries versus the Weller Silver Cream one which does dry really quickly. I've never had any trouble with it, but because it dries so quickly, the points go to Hans de Foucault. Now into finish with a hairspray guys, it's not a styling product. Well, I don't use it as a styling product. I want it to look natural. I want that styling product or the pre-styler to have done its work and I just want this to lock it into place. With the Hans de Foucault one, sometimes I find while using it, you get a slight residue on the hair. You can see that you've used a hairspray versus the Weller Silver Cream Classic one, which you can't see. Like it looks really natural in the hair. So the points for finish go to Weller Silver Crane. Now hold, this is the big one. This is where most of the points go in this because these are maximum hold hairsprays. We want it to lock, we want it to freeze, we don't want it to move. Here's what happened. This hold is insane. I have noticed this every time I've used it. It literally is just solid. It's got a tight, like the tiniest bit of movement, the tight, like the tiniest bit. Hair has definitely dropped. Um, yeah, I mean it can be pushed back in. But that is droppage, isn't it? 
Really very easy in this one. It felt stable, it felt firm, it felt like it could keep on going all night. The points go to Hans de Foucault. Now both products washed out, no bother, but the Hans de Foucault one did just leave slightly more residue in the hair. So the points go to Weller Silver Crin. Now price, this is where we go like this. They are polar opposites. The Hans de Foucault one is expensive. This is about £24. I found it in various places, link down below, or about $23.50 in the US. This is so expensive versus the Weller Silver Crane Classic one, which comes in various different sizes. And this is cheap. You know, I actually get them in Lidl for about three, four pounds. You also get them in Superdrug Boots, wherever, online, Amazon. And they're not expensive. They're always on offer. The points for price and value very, very easily go to Weller Silver Crane Classic. So there we go, we have a verdict with 10 points. We have Weller Silver Cream Classic versus 12 points for Hans de Foucault. And I've got to say, the hold of this is epic. But do you have $23.50 or £24 to spend on this? Because I don't. A hairspray at $24, sorry, $23, I just find it like so ridiculous. Where is that money? Like actual. Three, four, five pounds, does the trick, never had any trouble. I'm not gonna be buying this. I just think that is ridiculous for a hairspray. I was sent this, I wouldn't buy it. If you've got more money than cents, go for this one, the hold is epic. But if you're like me and just wanna rely on having a good pre-styler and a good styling product, use this one. There you go. The points don't always equal exactly what I think, but that's the way it goes. Thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. We're gonna have like a couple more brand battles and then that'll be it for this season. Then we might take it back at some other point. If you're new to my channel and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe right now. The button is there. There's also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Head to my blog, it's there. Uh, my Instagram and my podcast are up there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.